Hi everyone, Asif Hanif here. I am Research Assistant at Electrical Engineering Department of Lahore University of Management Sciences. Today, I am going to present my work on through wall movement sensing and target counting using wireless signal. We short name this work as Y-SPY. First, I will briefly introduce the problem and challenges associated with it. Afterwards, I will discuss proposed approach followed by results and discussion. In this paper, we demonstrate a system that senses movement of persons behind a brick wall and predicts the number of moving targets. This system does not require instrumenting the body of a moving target. Therefore, it is completely non-invasive and device-free. This system relies on commercial off-the-shelf components and commodity Wi-Fi signals for sensing and prediction of moving targets. In particular, we use channel state information that is extracted from commercially available Wi-Fi cards. CSI can incur effects induced by movement of persons. We evaluate the performance of our system for a challenging scenario like 13 inch thick brick wall and our results show that our system can predict up to three moving persons with maximum average accuracy of about 97%. Through wall movement sensing with wireless signals faces certain challenges. Firstly, while propagating through a medium like brick wall, signal power is significantly reduced. Secondly, if wireless transmitter and receiver are placed on the same side of the wall, then strong wall reflections of incident waves will make it very difficult for receiver to capture minute human body reflections that are coming from behind the wall. This effect is known as flash effect. There are many through wall imaging radar systems that are based on ultra wide bandwidth principle. But these bandwidth hungry systems are not available for common use. Our literature survey shows that there are also few works that rely on USRPs. But these are very expensive RF front ends. Our proposed solution uses inexpensive and commercially available Wi-Fi cards. Firmware modification for Intel 5300 Wi-Fi card allows a user to access channel state information that can be used for different sensing purposes. We connect transmitter with pyramidal horn antenna to direct most of the transmit RF power towards the target area. We tackle flash effect by placing our sensing equipment adjacent to the wall so that strong wall reflections do not reach receiver. After collecting CSI data from different experiments, we use machine learning algorithms to classify static and moving person cases and predict the number of people moving behind the wall. This illustration shows our experimental setup. Here we can see a target moving behind the wall. Two wireless devices are placed on one side of the wall. One device acts as a transmitter and other as a receiver. Antennas on transmitter and receiver are connected to this inexpensive Intel 5300 Wi-Fi card. Each device has its own Wi-Fi radio. Channel state information on 30 OFTM subcarriers can be accessed from it. We used this hardware equipment for data collection. Transmitter device is connected to one pyramidal horn antenna, and receiver node is connected to three omnidirectional antennas. Signals are transmitted at 5.18 GHz frequency with 20 MHz bandwidth using IEEE 802.11n standard. Once signal is received at receiver, 
channel state information is estimated and extracted for use. CSI is combined representation of phenomena associated with wireless signal, such as reflection, diffraction, fading, and power decay with distance. This graph shows CSI amplitude of 30 OFDM subcarriers when there is no person behind the wall. We can observe relatively stable profile of CSI in the absence of person. Whenever person starts movement behind the wall, fluctuations are observed in CSI data. CSI shown in this graph was obtained when there was only one person moving behind the wall. We gradually increase the number of people moving behind the wall from one to three. Our investigation shows that as the number of moving targets increases, variance of CSI data also increases. To explain observations quantitatively, we employ a so-called double variance metric. CSI amplitude is an n by m matrix in which n is the number of time indices and m is the number of OFDM subcarriers. We first compute variance along subcarrier dimension and then along variance star vector. Final number will represent combined effect of CSI fluctuations due to person's movement and the number of targets. As explained in previous slide, we obtain double variance metric and compare it for cases of one of the experimental sets. We can see variance is proportional to the number of targets moving behind the wall. We can assume a typical wireless channel in which there are many signal paths. Our intuition behind through wall counting of moving person relies on the imagination that as the number of moving targets increases, the number of dynamic signal paths also increases. This is ultimately manifested in the variance of CSI data. Before giving CSI data to machine learning algorithms, we pre-process it. Due to very large dimension of CSI data, we apply dimensionality reduction on it. In particular, we use principal component analysis for dimensionality reduction. We later vectorize PCA output to be used as feature set by machine learning algorithms. We use five machine learning algorithms for classification. Classes include no person, one person, two persons, and three persons moving behind the wall. These are overall classification results of five machine learning algorithms, namely K nearest neighbor, stochastic gradient descent, port vector machines, knife base, and decision tree. We find that decision tree outperforms all other algorithms. This is the output confusion matrix for decision tree algorithm. Our system achieves overall average accuracy of 96.97%. To the best of our knowledge, it is the first system that uses CSI from commercially available off-the-shelf devices to realize through-wall movement sensing and counting of moving persons by involving machine learning. That's all. Thank you very much for listening.